This is Fair Oaks Farms, and we're right in the Corn Belt of the United States, and this is the nation's number one agricultural destination. Today, we're visiting a dairy farm in Fair Oaks, Indiana, where we get to see baby piglets, try cheese and ice cream that was made on site, and watch not one, but two calves being born. Indiana is the last stop on our Midwest road trip, and honestly, it was the toughest to figure out what to do. Really, how do you get an Indiana experience if you're not doing an Indy 500 car race? What do you do on just an average day that gives you a taste of what Indiana is about? It didn't help that our original plan didn't work out. I guess that's what happens when you go to attractions in the middle of a nudist colony. <laughs> Fortunately, a woman we spoke to recommended this nearby dairy. We weren't sure at first if a farm was for us, but we decided, when in Indiana, and headed over to check it out. It ended up being one of our favorite stops on this trip. They're allowing us to film in here. Apparently they're very open. One of the words we saw a lot on their website was transparency, which we think is so amazing. Let's go check it out. First stop, a tour of the robotic dairy. Really cool to see. Holy cow. And like Steven said, so high tech. Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cheesy. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, so we have really been educated on how they maintain the animals here at a farm like this. We found some of the things really interesting, yeah. like the fact that they have an open pen system for the cows, and they can just kind of move around freely, eat whatever they want, whenever they want. They're monitored, of course, so that they're all getting the right amount, but there's definitely a lot of freedom, a lot of space, and they really seem to respect the animals and care really deeply for their well-being and their comfort and their happiness. Yeah, they even have voluntary milking systems. Oh, that's Crazy. right. Yeah, so they just go in to be milked when they feel ready. And the bonus? Back scratchers, they have a massage. Yes, they have massages. These like, they look like they came out of a car wash, right? Yeah, they're like giant brushes. They walk up to them at their leisure and they rub their backs on them. And it's so fun because you see the cows going up to them and they just stand there and enjoy this massage while this big <laughs> giant yellow car wash looking brush goes over them. But it also helps to keep them clean and healthy because it kind of brushes away loose fur, any of the sand or straw so that it doesn't stick to them. So it's part of maintaining their health as well as their comfort. So we just got off the bus from the dairy tour and we're heading over to the birthing barn right now because they said a cow is just about to give birth. Let's go. Ah! That one was just born while we're on our tour. And this other one, it's already starting to poke out. It's gonna be born any second now. This is Such so a National Geographic. <laughs> Natural? National. I said it right, right? I think so. I think so. Those are the front legs and the head starting to come out. I have never seen anything like this before. She is working so hard. You almost feel bad for her, but you just know that that's nature and life and actually really beautiful. It was so gross and so amazing. 
We have a pig tour right now. It's called the Pig Adventure. It's kind of a shame because honestly, I could have stayed in there and watched that mom with her new calf for so much longer. That but we'll so definitely cool. poke our heads back in there a little later and see how they're doing. So one of the cool things that all this technology here is for has to do with waste, waste reduction, waste repurposing. One thing that is remarkable here is it doesn't smell. Really, there's no bad smell at all. I remember driving north in California one time past a farm and you could smell it from miles, like many miles away. We are right here. We were right in the building with the animals and there was no odor. And that's because of everything they do to clean and to reclaim all of that and process it into other usable materials, including even the methane. It's eco-friendly and it's friendly for all the neighbors who have to live within miles of this place so they don't have to smell it anymore. So this is really cool to see because at first when I saw them in each of these stalls, I thought, oh, that's a shame. They can't like move around very freely. It seems so confining, which it is. But the reason they do that is actually for the pig's stress levels. They get too stressed out if they're introduced to an open pen area right away. So they start them off in these stalls to kind of acclimate them to this whole room in this area. And then they're allowed to go into a more free roaming situation. It's really interesting what you learn and what our perceptions are versus what these people actually know about the animals. So many babies eating and sleeping. So cute. Oh, they're so adorable. So these cages you see around the mamas here are actually anti-crush bars, so they don't accidentally flop over and crush the baby piglets. So even though this building behind me says pork, we actually didn't end up learning a whole lot about the meat aspect of the pig, which I'm pretty grateful for because I didn't really want to get into that too much. When we went over to the pig farm, they talked more about the breeding and the raising. And of course we got to see all the little baby piglets and they were so cute. We're back at the birthing barn now. We're gonna check back in with the new mama and her calf. Okay, so right here is our boy that we watched being born about two hours ago. He's sleeping it off. And then over here is another boy that was born just about an hour before him. He's been getting up and moving for the past few minutes. And he's, uh, he's kind of working things out. And then down here, we have this pretty girl who was born while we were in the pig farm. So she's about an hour old, I think now. Also sleeping it off. All right, so no visit to a dairy farm would be complete without sampling the goods. We're making our way over to the cafe, and we're gonna have some ice cream and grilled cheese. Not in that order, I don't think. Dessert first, <laughs> always. This ice cream was made in this room right behind me here. always gets me when they start cleaning off their babies. Another birth. Oh my gosh, Indiana, you really came through. All the baby animals, what a way to wrap up this road trip. Yeah, and thanks so much for coming along on this trip with us. If you haven't caught all the videos, it was an amazing trip, we thought. So please go back and take a look. And that's not where our adventure ends because we've got a bucket list item of both of ours that we're gonna <laughs> check off on that next trip. We cannot wait to take you along. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing. So please subscribe. Click that notification bell. Come along on all the adventures with us. And as always, thank you so much for watching. We'll see, see you, you next time. time.